executive director, founder, and a primary therapist at One-to-One -One Treatment. One-to-One -one Treatment is an intensive outpatient program that I founded in October 2009. Our primary focus is addiction, chemical dependency, uh, dual diagnosis, which may be things such as mood disorders, trauma, personality disorders. I've hired six Antioch, uh, either alumni, graduates, or current students. And I do that because I know that they're going to be able to fit in to how we function. The Master's in Clinical Psychology program prepared me really well to be a therapist. Uh, one of the biggest things I took away from the program was identifying and nurturing what I consider my authentic self. My expectation was I was just going to go and be turned into you know, a little therapy soldier. And really, I learned more about myself in that program than I had ever imagined. So today when I'm with clients, I can really show up being my own best tool, my own best asset. You know, a carpenter has a hammer, a saw, those are their tools, that's what they invest in. I have to invest in myself. So when I invested in Antioch, I really feel like I invested in myself. I'm the program director for City of Youth, which is a nonprofit uh, organization that partners with the charter school to provide youth 15 to 25 with uh, resources to succeed. The theory and practice that I learned through the curricula and the education program at Antioch University helped me better implement effective programming and impactful projects. South Central is home to thousands of disconnected youth. They've heard in their lives that you are worth nothing and you have no opportunity. And then we come and meet them on the street and say, hey, you're worth everything and we got opportunity for you. What I appreciate the most uh, about being a student at Antioch University is the community that was established in each one of the classes. And that happens because people get to know each other. We have a conversation about what we want to learn as it relates to the theme or the topic of the class. And this is not something you get at other universities. This is different. It's, it's really focused on keeping us engaged and making the learning relevant to what we're doing in our personal and professional lives. I'm a senior manager in human capital at Deloitte Consulting. It was relationships that I made when I was at Antioch University that led to me being hired at Deloitte. What we do in human capital is all about people in Fortune 500 corporations. And um, we do several different things. A lot of it's around corporate strategy. So what direction might a company be going in that's different from where they are now? And then what has to happen in order to get people ready, willing, and able to make that change? And what my teams and I do on these projects is come in and, and help provide people with the skills or the tools or the information that, that the employees are going to need to be successful in the new world. The networking opportunities that I had in the organizational management program were amazing. There were a lot of class projects that came along. Every class had a project and I worked with a lot of really great companies that um, some of them turned into paying clients when I, after I graduated, and that enabled me to start a consulting business right out of school. One of the things that I really loved about the program was how interested the instructors were in me, what I wanted to learn, what I wanted to do when I graduated, and they, to a person, helped me engineer that education. I'm an assistant research professor at uh, the Davis School of Gerontology at USC, and I'm the director of the uh, Human Regenerative and Restorative Science uh, Institute. I find that helping people to understand what they themselves are going to go through someday is a calling. I really feel that uh, in doing so, I, I'm contributing to society and to the well-being of, of others. I studied at Antioch. I went back to school at, uh, at age 55, Antioch University. Changed my life for the better. I wasn't going to die without having at least a bachelor's degree. And they set it up. They encouraged me and made me feel confident so that I, uh, I could actually uh, exceed my wildest dreams and wind up with a PhD. I will never forget the things that I learned there. And I will never, ever stop talking about what a wonderful experience it was for me.